around this hammer, Jim. It's going to be a very good birdhouse. Now what color do you want to paint our birdhouse? Mm, how about white? Then the birds can see during the night too. Okay, that's a good idea, Jim. Come on, let's start painting. I hope the parrots, sparrows and the other birds come to live here too. Wow, that was a good thought, Jim. You know, I like birds so much. It will be great to see all the birds flying around in our garden. <laughs> well, I was thinking how this world would have looked like if there were no animals and birds. Mm, that would have been very boring. Hey Jim, did you know that there is a patron saint for animals and nature? Huh, patron saint for animals and birds? Who is it, Joanne? It's Saint Francis of Assisi. He is considered as the patron saint for birds and animals. Wow, Joanne, I have an idea. Let's ask Uncle Francis to tell us the story of St. Francis today. That's a great idea, Jim. Children, what were you doing this morning? Uncle, we are making a bird house. And we planted a tree in our garden. Great job, children. I was thinking of telling you the story of the patron saint of birds and animals. Do you know who he is? <laughs> what a coincidence. Joanne told me about the patron saint. Isn't it Francis of Assisi? Wow, that's great, Joan. Yes, Uncle Francis. We were discussing about St. Francis of Assisi while we were making the birdhouse. Very good, Joan. Then let me tell you the story of this great saint. A long, long time ago, in a little city known as Assisi in Italy, there lived a young boy named Francis Bernadone. Francis lived with his father and mother who loved him very much. Francis's father was one of the richest men in Assisi and he made sure that Francis got everything he needed. He used to tell great tales of brave warriors every day. Francis loved these stories and as he listened to his father he longed to become a great knight someday. Francis grew up and he made friends with the sons of the richest men in Assisi. Everybody liked Francis as he could sing, dance, and above all, he used to spend plenty of money at parties. Ha <laughs> ha! That was great fun today, my friends. Yes, my friend. We'll meet tomorrow as well. Good night, everyone. Oh no, it's so late. Mother would be waiting for me. I must reach home quickly. Huh? My son, stop, please. Huh? Who was that? My son, I haven't eaten anything all day. Can you please give me some money to buy food? What? Do you know who I am? I'm the son of the richest man in Assisi. How dare you stop me like this? I... I'm so sorry. I didn't know who you were. I... I was hungry. Sorry. Please forgive me. Ooh. Huh? No. I shouldn't have talked to him like that. Hello. Stop. Please wait. What happened, son? Huh? I'm sorry for what I said. I shouldn't have spoken to you like that. That's all right, son. I hear that every time. Here, please take this. I don't want you to sleep on an empty stomach tonight. Huh? Thank you, my son. You are so kind. You should get something to eat. I have to leave now. The people who were close to Francis knew that, however careless he was, he always had a kind heart. Chance to be a soldier and fight the war. Please, my son, please don't leave. You know how much we love you. You don't have to do this, my son. Father, you know that I have always longed to become a knight. but. But I have always wanted you to be a merchant. 
Everything I have earned is for you. I know, father. But please let me do what I want. I love being a soldier. Hmm. All right, my son. If that's what you wish. Thank you, father. Thank you so much. Come back soon, my love. The war lasted for many days, and Francis fought bravely. But the side that Francis fought for started losing, and eventually he was surrounded by the enemies. Everyone is dead. What am I supposed to do now? Kill him! <laughs> He is all alone. Let's finish him. No, let us not kill him. Let's take him as a prisoner and ask for ransom. Hmm, that's a good idea. This one looks rich. We can get good money from his parents. Francis was taken as a prisoner. Knowing that they will get a good amount of money as ransom from his father. Francis was put in a dungeon, and he was to wait there till his father paid the ransom. But it took almost a year of negotiations before Francis could be released. In the meantime, he fell sick with high fever. It was then that he started receiving visions from God. <laughs> Oh Lord, huh? Was it real, or am I just dreaming? The visions he received made Francis a reformed person. Francis returned home after a few days, but he kept receiving these visions from God. He now wore ordinary clothes, and he stayed away from lavish parties and friends. Instead of his love for leading a soldier's life, a new love was born in his heart. A love for all the hungry and sick people in the world. Hello, brother. How are you feeling? Huh? Are you not Francis, son of Pietro the Silk Merchant? Yes, I am, sir. I was born as a privileged person, but now I see Jesus in you. Oh, what a surprise! Strange are the ways of the Lord. Okay, brother. I will come and meet the other people staying in your colony. I hope I can be of service to you. It seemed to him that he must go everywhere and tell everyone to love one another. Francis spent most of his time praying in mountain hideaways and in the churches nearby. One day he received another vision from God. <sighs> Lord, if that's your will. Not fully understanding the word of the Lord, Francis thought that his mission was to repair the churches which were in poor condition. So he sold his clothes and his father's horse to collect money for repairing the church. This really angered his father, and he took him to the bishop of Assisi. Your Excellency, I think my son has turned insane. Huh? What makes you think like that, Pietro? He has sold all of my silk clothes and even my horse for the sake of repairing some churches. Is this allegation true, Francis? Your Excellency, I have been entrusted with a mission by the Lord to rebuild the churches. But my son, we are here to do that. Why do you want to spend your father's money for that? But Your Excellency, who gave my father this wealth? God has given, and I have taken for the sake of God. See, did I tell you that he has turned mad? Young gentleman, what you're saying may be correct, but you need to return the money to your father, as you have done this without his permission. All right, Your Excellency. If you say so, I'm willing to give back his money. I will also return the clothes I wear, which was also bought with my father's money.